Morning, guys. So the Euro Kiwi is currently negative at minus 20 pips, which isn't too bad. And just a little caveat there is that if you are taking, you know, Euro Kiwi or, you know, pound yen or pound Aussie, anything with a risky component like the Aussie or the Kiwi, um, we have to remember to look at risk appetite. And uh, so if we continue pumping, that's going to be fine. That's going to be really good for our signal because what's uh, the Kiwi is riskier than the euro. So the euro, the Kiwi should appreciate if we're risk on. Okay, so that's how it works. And uh, so that's why you want to be checking your risk on, risk off flows. You'd also potentially want to be checking your VIX. We don't really want to go above 20. And uh, it's a little bit concerning that the US yields are pumping as well. Normally, if they're pumping, that tells us a stronger dollar. So that might be worthy of note. Um, yeah, so just really just to recap, you want to be looking at your risk appetite. And we are very skewed on our risk curve as, as well. So there's one person buying, there's 19 people trying to short. So bear that in mind. So hopefully you understand, uh, you know, the relationship of Forex and risk. So it's now minus 23. And uh, understand that, you know, if you take a signal... Don't just take it on its own. You want to be checking, you know, the fundamental backdrop to that signal. It would be very um, uh, irresponsible not to check your risk appetite because that's very sensitive to risk. So, you know, you want to be checking your indices. If the indices fall really heavily and we go minus 1%, minus 2%, this is going to pump a lot because the Kiwi is going to suffer and the euro will appreciate over the kiwi. So just a little caveat there. And why I'm quite uncertain about publishing trade of the day, because I don't know what's going to happen for New York. At 2 o'clock, we can reverse quite easily, and no one knows what the future holds. And by the looks of things, it looks like the US yields are pumping, so they're anticipating a risk off, and the dollar could strengthen. So we have to be really careful. So hopefully you understand the logic and the relationship of risk and FX. So that's important. Uh, so the euro, you know, we'd um, they'd sold it. So we come up and uh, so that's that. You know, that's the buy, you know, the arrow there. Uh, dollar yen, um, <laughs> where did we? Well, they sold it, so we'd come up and it, we just chopped a lot. And then the last arrow was where well, they went long. So, you know, it explains that move. Um there's your SSI snapshot. So what's interestingly is the Aussie pound and Kiwi are sell, but yet we're pumping and risk. All right. So there's definitely something out of bonk with FX and indices. So one of them's going to be lying or they're just going to have a complete correlation breakdown. And that's why I think things are a little bit out of bonk because what should happen is that the Aussie should be coming up with the S&P. Right, because that's a traditional correlation. But if it's a sell, then it's going to cause uh, a little bit of chaos. So it could be just a little uh, correlation breakdown today uh, with Aussie, Kiwi and the pound. Right, And if it means that they come up, this means that the retail guys get paid, which can happen. Uh, US 30, we pumped, we had a buy, you know, so there I'll become. Uh, DAX, absolutely horrendous. Um, if we retrace all this candle, then our, candle, our trade of the day is probably going to be quite rubbish. Uh, but you have to wait and see, won't we? I mean, they have sold it ever so slightly going long. That wouldn't be people buying. That's uh, telling us that the shorts exited. So more longs is less shorts, remember? So I don't know if anyone's that crazy to be buying up here, but it could happen, you know. Maybe someone is. <laughs> maybe a lot of people are. I don't know, but... For me, it would be a bit crazy if you were buying up here, but maybe they are, you know. But I think what's this here is less shorts as opposed to more longs, okay? Uh, gold, we're breaking away, so that's okay. Um, be nice to get out of this consolidation on the sentiment. I got chopped up a little bit yesterday. It was only like, um, only down like £20, so it wasn't like a horrible day. It's just chop. And I made a bit of profit, I lost a little bit, made a bit of profit, and just did it. And then what I'm going to do is wait for a breakout. It looks like we are breaking away, which is nice. Obviously, we've got some resistance here, and we've got some heavy resistance here as well on these candles. So, 1916 could be a good TP. 
potentially. And uh, I don't know if we're going to come up here, but we could do 1970, I think was the SLC. But we'll look at this stop loss clusters on the Patreon video. So just to recap, we're having a little bit of things out of bonk with FX and indices. And you do want to check your um, risk appetite if you're taking anything with a risky component in the FX. And mostly FX is risky anyway. Uh, so we are fluctuating. So hopefully you understand that. So the Kiwi will appreciate more than Euro in a risk on environment. Risk on is when we're pumping. But this is risk on. Okay, so hopefully that's clear. If not, just let me know and that's not not worry at all. And I like to help. So it's important you understand that relationship there, the fundamental relationship with risk with this particular trade of the day. Okay.